This is the Bentley Turbo R, a luxury car developed by Bentley for the production years of the mid-1980s to the late 1990s, and it was a very high premium car and was fast compared to saloon cars of that era. It hosts a 6.75 litre V8 with a turbo on it. However, I've replaced that and given it twin turbos so it can have more grunt. It develops over 650 horsepower at a very low rev range and it has a massive amount of torque, 1100 newton meters or above. This means it will pull like a train. This Bentley's gone on a diet though with some race weight reduction and a lot of lighter components and also some nice contemporary wheels. This is sure to battle some sports cars of this modern day. The Handling though may leave a lot to be desired considering the hefty weight and also the suspension on it. You can't really upgrade much and it's not as aerodynamic either. However, we shall put it to the test the best we can, starting off with its top speed. Time to check out its quarter mile. Let's take it on the track. Here we go in the Bentley and it rockets off the line briskly goes up to nearly 100 miles an hour and you can see how it starts to wallow through that corner there it's not the best at handling i mean the ratings under a 7 out of 10 and it's meant to be like a supercar rival this one considering that of power and that is in s tier slowing down for the nice left hander so Coming on to this right hand long bend, going over 100, and you can see it's starting to lose traction. I didn't want to give this race tyres, so I thought I'd give it rally, because at least they are road legal. And they're a bit better than sport tyres, so we'll just have to see what it can do with them. Plus it's high ride height, means it can go over the bumpy roads, well the kerbs shall I say, and the uh, grassy bits with relative ease. And so we go up and you can see how it pulls. Over the hill you'll see the massive torque and the wheel spin. Bounce the thread and we cross the line at 155 and having to brake hard. So you can see I get this competitive um, timing on this second lap here. Which is going to get under a minute for definite. And uh, slow down. We've improved there a little bit but you can't help but it let it drift. It's really hard to not drift. The power, despite the widened tyres and the uprated suspension, will still kick this out of line because it hasn't got that optimal grip like a sports car or supercar does. Slowing down for the chicane. I didn't quite slow down as best as I'd like, but I think we're going to get under a minute for definite. Ooh, drifting there. That holds a very good drift. It's probably not the purpose to take it on track, it's probably to have fun with it. So we go 120, 130, and now 140, and we're about to cross the line. Okay, so we got just over 59 seconds, so it puts us fourth on the leaderboard. Slightly quicker than the Nissan Skyline R34, but I would expect that considering it has 150 more horsepower than the Z-Tune. Uh, of course, mastering... Uh, the GT86 TRD Turbo, nowhere near the uh, competition, the bronze, silver or gold even, so much slower than those cars, but you'd expect it considering it has a lot of body roll for a big Bentley. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, hope you like this episode of Unique Tuning, see you later.